Get ready for the most shocking reality show of all time. <laughs> A show so hot. I like foreplay. <laughs> Who doesn't? A show so sexy. <laughs> so how you doing, my little hum and passion? A show so... <gasps> Hello, darling. <laughs> Someone get the hook! It will make you scream. Witness a haunting journey with hundreds of hopeful horror hostesses. Your breath is burning my eyes. From thousands, the Mistress of the Dark will choose only one. It's time for the search for the next Elvira. If they say that Kris Kringle is the king of Christmas, then boys and girls, meet the queen of Halloween. That's right, it's everyone's favorite ghoul next door, Elvira. Dateline 1981, and the Mistress of the Dark first hits the air with a local horror hosting show called Movie Macabre. The show not only gave us the chuckles and the willies, but it gave her an Emmy nomination as well. Way to go, Elvira! She not only doubled your fun on a Saturday night, she was the first person ever to be broadcast in eye-popping 3D. Yowza! The spooky seductress has gained global admiration for her work in television, two feature films, an IMAX movie, and a motion-controlled ride experience. And she has been hawking her goodies all across the consumer landscape, slapping her face across mugs, CDs, books, pinball machines, guitars, beer, perfume, slot machines, and she boasts the best-selling female Halloween costume of all time. Looking foxy, ladies. That's right, everyone wants a piece of Elvira. And she's more than happy to give a little to anyone who's asking. She's made hundreds of appearances, including Saturday Night Live, The Tonight Show, MTV, and even a U2 concert with Bono. Now, faster than you can say, seeing double, Elvira is building an army of the night. And the first in a platoon of va 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 voom will be chosen by the American public. Thousands will descend upon Hollywood, California, but only one will be chosen to lead the brigades of handmaids with a year-long management contract that will take the name Elvira into the next century! darling, and welcome to the show. Yes, that's right, it's little old me, that heartthrob of the macabre, that callous-tongued queen of quippery, Elvira, mistress of the dark. You know, darling, I've missed you like heck. Like heck, I missed you. Barely able to contain myself. Oh, wrapped with anticipation over this little get-together. This time around, I am on a search for the next Elvira the first for a legion of double delicious dames. The first part of this tale of the bizarre takes place at the Queen Mary, which by itself is pretty darn scary. I mean, I was getting goose, uh, I mean, I was getting goosebumps seeing the contestants for the first time. I'm starting from number 66737. Yes, they came in all kinds of shapes and sizes. There were the young and the old. Some were girls, some were guys, and some were in between. Are you being interviewed right now? I just kind of plop no. my ass down. And to my surprise, these wannabe Elviras came from all around the world. Places like South Africa, the Iraq, and like such as. From Tucson, Arizona. Seattle. Louisville, Kentucky. Milwaukee. New Jersey. From Maryland. All the way from Hawaii. Orange County, California. From Johnson City, Tennessee. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Albuquerque, New Mexico. I am from my home. I'm from a long line of vampires. I was born in Beijing. <laughs> I'm from the planet Sinbang Starlust in Galaxy Sector 666. I am from Transylvania. It doesn't get any more authentic than that. Oh, glad to see someone from the homeland. Now I'm really looking for that special someone who is blessed with a couple of large assets. Oh, well, maybe not that large. And the next Elvira isn't just about the 
the... Well, you get the picture. She's also got to have a great pair of legs. Oh. For the open casket call at the Queen Mary, the Queen of Halloween enlisted to help of two more queens, Christian and Patterson. These two are Elvira experts. I mean, they know more about me than me and are perfect judges for our first scream test. What is this? Oh, mercy and glory. Hi, Lola Davidson. What the hell? Where's the audition? Hello. Uh, did you hear about the Elvira audition? <gasps> yes! You Were did? you jogging when you heard about it? I'm Elvira in training. All oh, right. Oh, 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 Elvira in training, like in boob camp, right? Exactly. Like exorcising. Right. Go for the burn, girl. That's okay. Right. Well, you got the cleavage is going there. The cleavage well, and, is there. and the legs. I'm trying. Elvira I'm trying. You got, you got the legs. There's a lot to upkeep with here. Oh, okay. Let's hear a little bit of your best, Elvira. Think Elvira, and if you think you're overdoing it, like with makeup, you're not you're overdoing not it. You're Bill Lugosi, and you're on crack, and you've got huge tits. <laughs> Let me have it! Thank you all for being here, darlings. I know it would have meant so much to um... Doris. Doris. She was so young and so beautiful, and she really put the rack in Dracula, if you know what I mean. Okay, that's a fantastic Tallulah Bank head, but let's hear Elvira now. Oh. Hello, 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 darling. Yes, sirree, it's little me. That gal with a smile that really does it in style. The gal with the wiggle that makes all the boys giggle. The gal with the curves that'll rattle your nerves. That devil make hair quipstress of the air. The gal who put the boob back into boob tube. Well, that's for damn sure. Elvira, mistress of the dark, don't send me flowers, because I'm totally allergic. The show, as you know, is movie macabre. And once again, I've plucked from the annals of our vaults. And we all know how painful that can be. Wait, honey, <gasps> can I ask you a question? What is the name of the show? Ma macabre? How about macabre? Macabre. Macabre. Yeah. That's just a little hint to help you out. OK. okay. Movie macabre. <coughs> or one last chance to get a little mileage out of a bunch of celluloid turkeys. Ooh. This time around, we're serving up a little treat called Capture a Bigfoot. Dr. Heckle and Mr. Hype. It's off to Blood Island for the O positive time of your life. <laughs> I think it's like an adaptation of a classic story with a similar title. Heck of it is, I'm stuck trying to remember what the classic story is. Why am I always the last one to know? Gee, you think my name was Elvira Mistress in the dark? Oh. <laughs> This one's called Frankenstein's Castle of Freaks. Catchy title, huh? Oh, 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 oh. You, we were so happy you pronounced macabre right for the first time. And called. then you pronounced Frankenstein instead of Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I've always thought that'd be a catchy name for a fast food joint. Frankenstein? <laughs> Frankenstein, get it? No. Not at oh, all. Oh, be nice. Well, it's something I to don't think need about. To be nice. It sucks, and you know it sucks. It doesn't and something suck. Something else the advertisers would like you to about? think about. Are these too, little pearls of Oh, are you sure there's not a mirror between us? Yes. Oh, really? Because, you know, I'm looking and I don't see me. No, because you're ugly. Hey, what I'll I meant to say was, you're not as attractive as myself. Why is it? They girls, they look great. Okay, and you know what? Wow. Right on. Oh my God! I'm had it with these two. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh wow! I'm the Gothic Killer Clown of rock and roll. <gasps> Hello, Madam Mistress. <laughs> I'm just right here. You don't. No need to shout. Uh, uh, can when we get a, a, a scream from you, or what? What passes as your best scream? Ha 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 ha! That was a laugh. We win a scream. Scream. Yeah. Scream, you know, like. I think she peed on the floor. Oh, I did a little bit. Don't you hate when that happens? But that was fabulous. Have you ever seen Elvira? Of course I have. The movies? Yes. All of them? My parents took me to the drive-in and I saw it in the drive-in. Are you a tanner? Are you a tan tanning salon gal? A no, I'm not. I'm actually really pale normally. This is totally out of the norm for me. Okay. Yeah. 
Great job. Thank you. <gasps> ah! Ah! Hi, I'm Jeho. Oh my God. That's right. Oh, That's quite a dress. You look like you, you look, look like, like a, a Swiffer. <laughs> well, I stepped into a box of Kleenex, and this is what happened. That is Fork. quite a hairdo you got going on there, too. I don't know what the hell it is. It looks like some kind of no. roadkill or something. I put my finger in a, in a, a light socket, and Ooh. then I use like a blowtorch on it to get oh it this way. Oh, my God. Yeah. But I don't believe in I too hear much you, makeup. Grandma. No. You, well, you look fabulous. Let's hear a little bit of Elvira out of you. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. This show, as you know, is moving macabre and one last chance to get that little mileage out of that bunch of celluloid turkeys. Take, for example, this little treat that we have to show you, or um, throw for you. Oh, okay, but it, was, it, was a good, it was a very good try. Really? Next time, I need to scream, uh, uh, clean my glasses at home. I'm calling you. Oh, okay, oh, you will. Oh, oh you can do my, my, oh, car. my car. My car. Oh, I would do your car, I will. That would oh, be fantastic. Wow. I will definitely do your car. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <ya. laughs> I've never seen so many clones of myself. It was like the invasion of the booby snatchers. And everyone just dripping with, um, uh, hex appeal. Don't move a muscle. The best of the breast, I, I mean, the best of the best is yet to come right after this. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Ah! It's the invasion of the talent snatchers. Leo me, the gal who puts the boo back in the booth. You know what? This is more painful than my corset. This has got to go. And leader. She just needs some work in the wig department. Yeah. And the A nose department, and the department, and the fat department, oh, and the teeth department. Oh, goodness. There's still, there's still. I'm sorry. What do you want me to lie? You are going straight to hell. No. The man virus attack. when the search for the next Elvira continues. Welcome back, darlings. We've been checking out some of the girls who are just dying to fill my little black dress. But at one point, I kind of felt like it was a bad horror movie. Wait till you see this creature feature. Hello, my name is Savage. <sighs> wow, okay, okay. You are Savage. Take a little turn around for us, can you? Okay. All right, good. Oh, we've got some butt, butt things going on there. Oh, wow. Let's hear a couple of lines there, just a line or two at, at, in your sexiest, spookiest Enter voice. Hey, what's with the tears? Oh, come on. Rat got your tongue? Let me guess. Man troubles? Honey, when you've been around as long as I have, you learn one thing. If you can't beat them, have them whacked. OK, OK, that's good. Um, th that's good. I'm What's your problem it. over there? <laughs> yeah, uh, not so much. Not so much? No, you got the boobs. I like that part, but you're just not, you're not giving me Elvira at all. Yeah, the character, just the character. Well, right. I thought there was a little sassy thing going well, on there. It was there. a little, a little bit, bit, but, but it not... wasn't like bang zoom. No, Elvira. it wasn't. It well, didn't... it wasn't bang zoom, okay. It wasn't even like pretending. You don't think so? No. Sorry. Mm. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Do one more quick line. Just one line. Do one line, one sassy line. I mean, hey, the bell in the tower swings both ways, right? Ooh, very good. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Okay, we're going to talk about you behind your back when you leave. Okay. And you just go, go ahead. Okay, bye-bye. I like the butt hanging out, though. As long as she keeps her mouth shut, she's fine. <laughs> oh, okay, watch out. Holy crap. Hi, my name is Chun Yi Lin. Wow, hello. Hello, darling. <laughs> it's Leo me, the gal who puts the boo back in the booth. You know what? This is more painful than my corset. This has got to oh, go. No, no, no. no I, I, it's, it's horrible. Oh, if you listen to this, you're going to be you're going to be hungry an hour later. You got to you have to listen for just a moment. Okay. No. I I go, I want to hear it. I I I like this. Yeah, I do too. And why we're a mistress of the dark? 100% cha 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 cha. And am I 
exhausted. Remember, you wanted I just to hear got more. back from the gym museum where I was oh, oh, running no, no, on the treadmill no, for no, hours. No, not no, easy no, in no, sex no, 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 not even kind of. Limit tells <laughs> you. I, I mean, do you have I any stop. idea how she much can't be it takes to look just hot? She can't be stopped, to keep oh, my guys Wait, what is your name again? I have to exercise Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. For cardio, there's the oh, my God. Monster. Where is the hook? Someone get the hook. The hook. For gold, for the burn, for oh and my for God. endurance. This? Okay, I squeeze um, into help. this uh, dress. Uh, oh, uh, and don't uh, forget, uh, always Chang drink Chang plenty uh, of holy. Hi, hi there. Uh, Hello, bye bye now. I, Water. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you very Sayonara. much. Right, that's other way, Jolene. Other, other, other way, other way. Other way. Other way. Other there you go. Okie dokie. Wow. Okay. There you go. Wow. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, oh she did it! Oh, she did me! She's back! Very late, Megan. Oh my god. Holy crap, somebody locked the door. Someone's fired. Someone is fired. Right. Oh, I tell you. She's the reason the Beatles broke up. Oh, Hi, I'm Bridget Marquardt, and I'm ready to be the next Elvira. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> a couple of you look familiar to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> that wouldn't be a recycled costume, would it? Um, not Really? Maybe, maybe, maybe once or twice. Okay. I had a week to prepare. <laughs> oh my God! Well, you look fabulous in your little devil thank suit. Can you. you spin around a this little for us? This is all for you. Please. Oh, Ooh. thank you, Bridget. You look so cute. Adorable. Um, now, are you going to do like a little <laughs> monologue or anything for us? Okay. Um. All right. Hello, darling. Yes, sirree. It's little old me, the gal with the curves that'll rattle your nerves. See, she already has it down. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Woo! You got it down, Elvira, girl. Mistress of the dark. She mm -hmm. nailed it. You're, you're the only girl so far that has actually nailed the sing-songy Valley Girl Elvira attitude when saying. Oh, really? The only big problem with you, Bridget. The only gigantic problem. The blonde hair. The blonde <laughs> hair. You got to do something about it. Let those black roots grow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what black roots? I don't know oh, what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Oops. What? Okay. Don't we all though? <laughs> yeah. Bye, thank guys. You, little thank devil. you. You look adorable. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. What's your problem over there? I thought there was a little sassy thing going on oh, there. A little, a little bit. bit. Not so much. No, you got the boobs. Elvira and her man virus search for contestants who ooze a special talent. They thought I peed on the floor when I screamed, but I didn't. Well, I might have. I don't know. But. A little goes a long way as Elvira selects her unlucky 13. Two eyes, a nose, and now. All right, so yes, But that's not all she's looking for. And they said my boots go from east to west, and so they made me do it squished together like that. It's tit for tat, next on the search for the next Elvira. Welcome back, darlings. So many great auditions. I mean, nothing brings freaks out like a haunted ship. Everyone really gave it their best, or their worst, or the best of their worst, or... Well, they tried, okay? Time for me and my judges to put on our thinking caps. I mean, uh, thinking wigs, in their case. As we narrow it down to our unlucky 13. Okay, Jenny Jensen, what do you think about her? Um, it was wonderful. I didn't get to read the whole dialogue, but uh, after kind of waiting in purgatory for a long time, I was really glad. Well, let me see you from the side. It's hard to tell about your figure. I drink beer sometimes, so that's what this is right here. But... I don't know. She already has Elvira eyes without she putting talked, on makeup. She, she, no. she acted good, but I don't. She acted good, I, yeah. I'd have to see it. They thought I peed on the floor when I screamed, but I didn't. Well, I might have. I don't know, but... Connie. Mm. Oh, oh, anyway. <laughs> Hello. Oh, she loved my hair. If I don't get on the show, she's gonna hire me to do her wigs. I mean hair. I like her. I love her because she's got this little look, you know, that yes, little sassy is. look with the little yeah. crooked mouth and everything. One of the man viras wanted me more have uh, wanted me to have the dimensions of his body, which apparently were painted on, so it doesn't quite make any sense to me. So okay, and yes. here's Miss Bridget. Everything's in the right places except for the freaking blonde hair. hair. Yeah, wig. 
Let those black roots grow. What black roots? I don't know what you're talking about. They said I did really well in the little monologue thing they handed me, so I got a little nervous. So I hope I hope it went I hope it went well because I think this would be a great job. What can you say bad about Bridget? Nothing. She's Bridget. She's nice. A little slow, but she's nice. Oh. <laughs> I should be the next mistress of the dark because I love the dark. I have great white skin, gorgeous rubies on my chest, and a killer sense of humor. Okay, who do we have here now? Jill. It's Jill. I knew a line from Mistress of the Darkness. Zell's Mariki Moolah. That's what I need. I need lots and lots of moolah. Oh, good. You remember the line from my movie. She said I got points, so, you know, that's good. She's got two I think eyes two and nose, nose and, and mouth. All right, so, yes, okay, yeah. she's good. As a trained artiste, I did study my copy oh so well and had it memorized. Elvira and the man virus were oh so impressed. Eric, oh. or should I say Erica? Oh, 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 oh. I'm a huge fan. Grew up watching Moving the Cobb with her when I was a young little thing, and uh, just a huge fan. He's got the the guts to pull it How off. How did he do these boobs? Uh -huh. They're rubber, just like yours. I don't. Oh, yours are rubber. Yours are. Mine aren't rubber. Mine are silicone, honey. Speak for yourself, girls. And they said my boobs go from east to west, and so they made me do it squished together like that. April. April. Darling, you don't want my life. Believe me, I can't even remember the last time a guy looked me in the eyes. I mean, Jesus, like I don't even have a head or something. April's very cute. Look at yeah. April as a doll. I April's could kind of see got, that. Uh, I actually could kind of see it. I could. Very smiley. She's got white teeth and dark eyes and dark hair. It's all that's going for. She's got the right. She's got cleavage. Cleavages. Uh, I read a few lines and they asked me a few questions about number one and number two, and that's about it. She had criticism, but you know what? I'm okay with criticism. I want to learn. I am here to learn how to be evil. That's the idea. Annabelle. This is Annabelle. I'm just like her personality-wise. I'm not a snobby LA girl. It would take a lot of makeup to turn her into Elvira. You think so? Yeah, it'd take a lot of contouring in the cheeks. What do you think? I like that, though, because it's like, it was like when I was, you know, 12 and I started being Elvira, and I had that little baby fat thing going on. <laughs> but, now but now it's down here. Shut up! <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> um, I think I did well. They seemed to like me a lot. They all said that, they, that I had a good attitude, and I think they liked my scream. I had a scream twice, but they liked me. Oh, kitty. She's got the cleavage. She's skinny. Mm -hmm. Pretty uh, eyes. Young, you know, I don't know if that's her natural hair or no. what. But she yeah. plays a mean G-string, I heard. On the guitar, you pervert. Oh. You don't understand. Like, she's been like one of my idols since I was little. So I was kind of a nerd, and I was just like, oh my gosh. I had that moment for a moment, but then I, okay, it's time to just be myself. So then, but it went good, I think. Well, it's hard to tell if you're pretty because you're green or blue or something. Are you flat? I'm blue, and I ain't got no flat, so I don't know. <laughs> Asia Divinal. She's got great yeah. boobs. Great. They, wow. How did you get those? My mom's Swedish, I don't know. <laughs> and Elvira says that was a good thing. Hmm, I, you know, it's so big, it looks like a one giant unibreast. The manion on the left was uh, very critical. Uh, not so much. Not so much? No, you got the boobs. I like that part, but you're just not, you're not giving me Elvira at all. I guess I wasn't spunky enough to be Elvira. Hmm. She just needs some work in the wig department. Yeah. And the a nose department, and the department, and the fat department, oh, and the teeth Christian, department. Christian, I'm sorry, Christian. what do you want me to lie? You are going straight to hell. No, girl. just pat it a little bit. Straight to hell. She does, believe me. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I had a great time. It was really awesome. It was so great to see Elvira. She's so beautiful. And her two friends, too. They're hot. Okay, well, now we know who's gonna rest in peace. We got our 13. Let's call them in. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. You bet. You look pretty good for a girl. But, uh... Elvira selects her unlucky 13 finalists. Rest in peace. The action heats up as we continue the search for the next Elvira. Phew, it is so hard to choose. But you know what they say, you can't judge a mistress of the dark until you walk the mile in her industrial strength bra. 
Now, I have made up my little old mind, and coming up next, I'll either invite them to my nightmare or send them to rest in peace. First one, Lola. Come on down. I got attracted to this project when I heard that it was Elvira. She is just such an icon. She's the first one that I saw that was hot and funny and strong all wrapped up into one, you know, without apologies. And that was, that's pretty groundbreaking, pretty darn cool. Lola, you know, that outfit was original. It's making me tired just looking at it. Oh, exercise, ew, I don't think so. Anyway, but Lola, um, is this your real hair? No, it is not. Oh, good girl. Okay, Lola. Welcome to my nightmare. <gasps> Let me stand right over there. Yvette, come on down. Oh, there you are, Yvette. Oh, and you're bringing your friends with you. This is, you know, such a huge opportunity. It's a, it's a dream come true for me, really, you know, to, to have made it this far and to continue to do my best and go further. Yvette, you look pretty good for a girl. Uh, but, uh... Welcome to my nightmare. Holy macabre! Yeah! Hey, at least you said macabre, right? Thank you. You're welcome. Amanda, come on down. Amanda, you have got a great face. You got a couple of great hooters. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to tell you. Rest in peace. Oops. Helga. I thought for sure that I would be okay with it. And then like when she told me to rest in peace, I felt it's my worst nightmare. I've never lost anything I've ever done. So to be the first person eliminated pretty much sucks. Jill Marie. Jill Marie, you look really good. You got really good gloves and everything, and you have a great figure, and you did a good job. Thank you. But rest in peace. <laughs> Helga. You know, sometimes they say you shouldn't meet your idols or you shouldn't meet people that you look up to. And it was definitely not that way with her. She is still the amazing woman that I remember looking up to as an eight-year-old girl watching her movies. Shelly! For some reason, I was like, I know she's gonna call me next, and she did. So I went down there and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna rock it, you know, whatever. I was kind of like, Creep. I'm just staring at her and she's so pretty and I'm just staring, staring, staring. <laughs> Shelly, you know, you have got great boots. <clears throat> boots with the teeth. Boot, boots. So, Hi. welcome to my nightmare. Oh, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> Thank you Get so much. <laughs> Annabelle, we love the tats, don't oh, we? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, we love the tats. We love the hair. And we love the hair. The street, that, very, Thank very you. original. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But we're sorry, we have to say. Rest in peace. No. I'm totally grateful that I even was chosen to come here to begin with. If anything, I love her more. Completely honest, and if she didn't feel I was like best suited for it, she knows better. Bridget! I've always thought it'd be really cool to be a horror host like Elvira, and I've always wanted to host my own show in general, so it's a perfect combination. I love Halloween and everything spooky, so couldn't be better. Well, Bridget, I mean, you know, obviously, we love the way you look. I mean, you know, Thank I you. guess what's not to like, yeah, but the blonde hair, you know, oh, Bridget. Welcome to my nightmare. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Never forget. I always wanted to do facials. I mean, do I give a good skin peel or what? 
<laughs> oh, there's more hair raising horror coming your way right after this. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira, the eliminations continue. Oh, oh wow. wow. As we search for the next Elvira. Oh, there you are. Man, I've been like waiting. Do you have any idea how hard it is to just like sit here like this? Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, I was just incinerating anyone who wasn't good enough to be me. <laughs> oh, I have brought four contestants into my nightmare and I just need nine more. Let's get back to the action. I think I could just definitely fit the part of the next Elvira. I'm perky and I've got a twisted sense of humor and love the old horror flicks. Kitty, your outfit is fabulous. So cool. I think the hair could like use a little help. You know, there's a dent in the middle or something. But uh, you could always work on that, I guess. So, uh, welcome to my nightmare. Being a part of your nightmare is my dream come true. Thank you so, so much. Oh. Mischief. My whole life is Elvira. Like, when I was very small, my favorite thing to do was stay up late and try to catch the show that she had when I was very little. I still feel the same about Elvira. I still really love her, and she established sort of a an archetype and people built on that and it gave voice to so many different, you know, girls who felt like they really wanted to get that inner vamp out. Jenny, come on down. I really love Elvira, I grew up watching her and my dad was a fan because my dad likes big boobs, he also likes Dolly Parton. Jenny, you were really vivacious, you were fun, you had a good attitude. Um, you're tall, that's always helpful. So, welcome to my nightmare. Ooh, I could just die. Don't worry, you will. <laughs> Savage. She called me up and I went in there and I was stepping on the ashes of my predecessors. <laughs> and uh, she uh, incinerated me. Everybody has their own opinion, and they're welcome to it, and I'm a better person for it. Bye. April. I'm just gonna try to be the best Elvira that I can be. I'm just hoping my comedy and, like, you know, sense of humor will come through. And so, I mean, I'm kind of a loud mouth, so <laughs> see what happens. It's hard for me to say this, but... Welcome to my nightmare! Oh, full job! <laughs> Score! <laughs> Sicily! Sicily, you are adorable, sweet, happy. You're very energetic. I like how you got the Elvira costume together. It's very beautiful. You have great taste in costumes, I gotta Thank say. Thank you. You're welcome. But. Rest in peace. <laughs> Helga. I'm really disappointed to be right here right now. I didn't think I would be. I really thought I'd be here till the end and one of the one of the last two at least. Nina. What's my dog's name? When I was really little, my grandparents owned a video store and they had a big cardboard cut out of her in the front and I was like five or six and I was like hypnotized by her boobs. Mina. Welcome to my nightmare. Oh my God. Ah! Oh, I love this one. Miss Monster. Ms. Monster, the character that was all blue, is actually the host of a late night horror variety show on cable access TV. 
in a few cities, so I've been sort of continuing the legacy in my own right of horror hosting. Hmm, now, Miss Monster, I don't know if you thought you were auditioning for Shrek or something. I mean, you're a little green around the gills, you know, so... Welcome to my nightmare. Woo! Thank you. You're welcome. Lady M. Elvira has been a huge influence on my life and is one of the greatest icons. And I think she's amazing and I could not pass it up. You know, with the, the costume, I mean, you don't quite have the whole thing together, but I think I could see you in it. So, welcome to my nightmare. Look, oh my God. <laughs> Jelena. I kept thinking, are my boobs big enough? And I wasn't being called. I was down to the last, I think, four, four or five, and I was like, oh, come on now, girl. Um, now, Jelena, your talents aren't quite as big as maybe mine, of course. <laughs> um, but you do have a great goth look. Hmm. Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> My strategy is to uh, keep my look as close to Elvira as possible and to, you know, try to emit that character. Erica, now you are certainly something special, I gotta tell you. You have a couple of great assets and you actually have more than a couple, but we don't want to know about those. Right now, all we want to know is... Would you like to be welcome to my nightmare? Thank you ever so. Good choice. <laughs> oh, apparently beauty is only skin deep because the underneath stuff is really grody. Who will make the cut and who will get sent screaming into the next life? Find out next. <laughs> Welcome back, you sex kittens from the sinister side. And for you guys, uh, just welcome back. <laughs> Time to finally whittle down these wannabe me's from 20 to the unlucky 13. There's only one spot left, so strap on your, your seat belts. You're in for a gory ride. Well, we're down to the last pair. And I mean that literally. Girls, come forward. Come on, hurry it up. We don't have all day here. I used to beg my mom to stay up late to watch her. And my mom loved her too, so it was, you know, pretty easy to talk her into it. She gives it to you straight, doesn't lie, lets you know that the movies might not be the best ever, but they're fun and you should watch them and enjoy them anyway. Hmm. It's definitely hard to choose the best one, uh, the best one here. Uh, because you both have very, very big hair. And that's a very important thing when you're being Elvira. Let me tell you. So. Connie. Rest in peace. Asia, welcome to my nightmare. Congratulations, girls. You have made it into the unlucky 13. But I have some bad news. The nightmare has just begun. The search for the next Elvira continues as some contestants go bump in the night with some of reality TV's favorite bachelors. Oh, my dear God. Wow. Jedi Howie from Big Brother puts the moves on Elvira wannabes. I like to work out. I like to play with my swords. I like to play with swords, too. Really? Yeah. yeah. You any good? Plus, Beauty and the Geek's Richard Rubin breaks the ice and a little more. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Well, this date's going well. 
the unlucky 13 semifinalists make a sexy transformation. Hey, Bridget. The competition gets tight as each of the 13 contestants try to fill out their new threads. Then the 13 contestants act their way into the haunted hills. Why? 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 Why is only one letter in this complicating acting challenge? Oh my god! From the unlucky 13, the competition is narrowed down to the sexy seven. Witness the contestants turn on each other and decide who is the weakest link. Elvira and the judges will choose the final three, and then America votes. That's right, the viewers will decide who will be the winner, the new Mistress of the Dark, on the search for the next Elvira. Our first show is in the can, and here's to my big opening. Well, so much for this being a family show. If you enjoyed yourself, my name is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And if you didn't, my name is Kennedy, and I'm on Reality Remix. Till next time, unpleasant dreams. <laughs>
and I don't wear prosthetics uh, for my cleavage. Everything is airbrushed onto me. Putting all of my stuff into strategic places so that it's all, you know, PPB gone with the magic wand. Putting on the dress and the bra, I mean, the corset is insane. What do you think of my new wig? Does it look like my old one? Oh my God, <laughs> you'll be speechless sometimes. Patterson drives me nuts. Patterson has always driven me nuts. As an Elvira lookalike, I would rate Patterson as a negative five. And I think a Christian that's kind of, I'll be honest, he can be a really nice guy. He can be a blast to be around. He can be really funny, and he can be really, really goofy and just actually make things really fun. I hate talking about him. I hate seeing him. I hate working with him. Just bump him off. Elvira had been in my subconscious, obviously, since being a small child. It was right around Halloween. I went out and got a big, fake, cheesy foam boob set with like the big, giant radio dial nipples on them and put all the makeup on, and I was only 18. How do you go find a new line of work? <laughs> Our unlucky 13 must now rise to the occasion in their first challenge. Now, you're probably asking yourself, does it cost a lot to look this cheap? Well, of course it does. So our first competition was the sexy shopping spree and they took us to foreplay on Hollywood Boulevard and Christian gave us $300 each and said now just go crazy but you got 30 minutes. 30 minutes to shop and try things on and purchase? Impossible! <laughs> Don't pick anything that's like too hooker. Like, stay away from the rhinestones. Okay. <laughs> Which one do you think would give me like the most maximum like <laughs> foreplay? I think it's fun because I like foreplay. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, but anyways, I wish we had more time. It's kind of like foreplay everywhere. I would cram myself into one of those. Would you? If I were you. I'm the only guy, and I'm in a lingerie store trying to wear stuff to try to find something that covered as much as possible. That one. It's something that shows off your best assets. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Eric uh, had uh, a little bit of difficulty finding a costume that would fit him in foreplay. He's not the skinniest crayon in the box. A little bit big, you know? I'll tell you what, in those stores, Everything is a size zero. Those are for girls who are skeletons. All right, you need help too. You need help in like the worst way. Then Christian tells me that I'm really boring in the stuff that I pick because I like really plain things. I don't like to be too flashy most of the time. Are you the first one? Like it got a little hectic and priests and girls didn't care like <laughs> who saw us in our panties <laughs> or without the bras. We were like, change, change. Somebody help. <laughs> I want to look sexy. It's funny because like I'm going to be wearing this apparently for most of the time and this is an extremely last minute decision. As you can tell, it doesn't quite accentuate the uh, top area. <laughs> For my lingerie outfit, I picked a fairly simple um, satin leopard nighty, and it looked really nice, um, but still very, very sexy. And I got a little like kind of whip thing with feathers on the end. La la. I don't know how to put this one on. It's all twisted and weird and wacky. And... Ah! <laughs> oh my god! I'm blinded now. Oh, forget it. He's he's never gonna find anything. Let me try it. He may have to just uh, take a drape down off the window and wrap himself in it. Suck it in, bitch. Suck it in. Wow. Pick out a new outfit in just 30 minutes? Man, it takes me 30 minutes just to put on my pantyhose. Well, when we come back, we'll see what it looks like when gothic glam gals go on the shopping trip from hell. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Apparently she thought she was uh, Madonna or Britney Spears because she had a lot of attitude. Christian goes both ways at foreplay. Good lord, she's just dripping out all over the place. And later... <laughs> it's a scream test, Elvira style. Why, why, why? When the search for the next Elvira continues. Minutes to find two outfits? Huh. 
<laughs> and that's plenty of time. All you gotta do is find something no respectable girl would be caught dead in. And remember, girls, less is more. <laughs>
Ooh, I just remembered that I used to be a size four. It's the ultimate screen test. Oh my god! I'm in Michigan! And later. It's not going to be up to me. It's gonna be up to you girls. Elvira pits the girls against the girls, and the pendulum starts to swing. Who do you think has copied my dress? Who do you think has cut their dress and sewn it like mine? When the search for the next Elvira continues. Well, you know what they say in showbiz. What do they say in showbiz? Oh, uh, dying is easy. Comedy is hard. Unless, of course, you're blessed with um, natural attributes. For the next challenge, we put our little starlets through the ringer in a screen test. Thank you all for being here. I know it would have meant so much to, to, um... Rachel. Rachel. I'm giving a eulogy for some girl that I don't even really know, even though we just took a road trip together. But I obviously don't care about her because I just slam the coffin lid shut. Many of you are probably... I tried to sass it up and, you know, class it up and use my eyes a lot and try to be as expressive as possible. Because, because, because... Use my breasts a couple of times, too. <laughs> our bazooms are our weapons. I would like to thank all of you for being here. Oops, I already goofed. <laughs> I really goofed. <laughs> because for some reason, since I've gotten here, I don't have allergies or anything like that, but my eyes have been watering so gnarly. So who cares if they're watery, right? Hey, you're a funeral. Hey, see? Even though I don't remember the bitch's name. <laughs> Oops, can I see bitch? <laughs> oh, well. You can now. <laughs> okay, ready. <sighs> okay. They just said action and I went. A little shaky, but you know, I went. <laughs> Okay, can we get somebody that actually can say a couple of words? <laughs> Why don't you tell us how she died, Elvira? It's a lot better when you can like actually read with people. Somebody read the other lines, but honestly, the one that we got, there is like three lines that aren't spoken by Elvira. Yeah, it's pretty much a monologue. <laughs> so anyway, uh, me and uh... Rachel. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, we went out west. The little girl wanted to see Holly weird. <laughs> Before he knew it, she was busting out all over the place. <laughs> I'm sure many of you are saying, why? 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 Yeah, why? Well, I'll tell you why. It's a whole different element once you get the actors in there and the cameras and the set. You know, it's, you can't imagine what it is until you're in there. So that was like, Ugh. She doesn't have all day. I mean, she does, but. I have a nail appointment. I was nervous, but had it all down. Really studied, and the most important thing for me was to get the character out. So me and uh, Rachel, uh, that's right. We headed west. It was awesome. I nailed it, so totally comfortable, and oh, I wanted to just keep doing it. It was so much fun. Lucky for me, all my dates are ghosts, so bad rep is no problem. This straight. You are straight, aren't you? Well, sorry, can I start over? I'm really sorry. Can I start over, please? I'm really sorry. After the first line, the first time, I had to start over again because I the blocking was there and the lines were there, but they weren't together yet. And so I started over a little bit nervous, a little shaky. Where was I? Oh yeah, so let me get this maybe sorta of straight. This place is cursed? <laughs> I just remembered that I used to be a size four. Well, that's fine by me. I'm just passing through. Just stopping to smell the roses. <laughs> Little Elvira. They ran me through, like, you know, my marks, where I had to hit the marks, and when to look into camera, and, um, you know, where to be. Well, lay it on me, tall, dark, and tall. She was the cruelest woman who ever ruled over this barren, wasted land. Oh my god! I'm in Michigan! 
I think I did good. I really do. I feel good about it. She had black hair like yours. Uh-huh. A tiny waist like yours. <laughs> Gotta love that typo. <laughs> Last night as I was rehearsing, I was, none of the girls in my group that had the same script were staying in the hotel with me, so I had to practice by myself. And I was looking in the mirror the whole time and just kind of, oh my god, oh my god. You know, acting out every little bit of Elvira that I could think over and over and going, no, scratch, not that. Oh, sure. She teaches Pilates in Malibu. You know, these girls are real Oscar material. Oscar Meyer. Why, why, why? Because. Boy, talk about hands. But the real meat of this challenge is yet to come. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. It was you. <laughs> The screen test continues. Why? Because we wanted to. And later... Rick, what do you think? Six-time Academy Awards winner Rick Baker and Friday the 13th Kane Hodder join the Mistress of the Dark for the next round of eliminations. There was two girls in my estimation that did a fantastic job. When we continue the search for the next Elvira, Well, it's time for take two on our little scream test. After all this, I'll need to take two myself. Hell, just pass the bottle. Anyway, check out the uh, acting chops on these little drama queens. It's basically who killed Hunchy, what's her name, girl. Each of you had the opportunity to kill her. And one of you did. And she's pretending to be Columbo and walking around, sizing everybody up and interrogating them. It was you! <laughs> so she's just blaming people and then going from there. And eventually, she hypnotizes Sinister Man. Line. Something's made of iron. Something's made of iron, and it's not your will. I hear and obey. You did it, and I'm gonna prove it. How? What, are you two, like, geek chorus or something? Zombie guy is, like, totally creepy. I was like, oh, please don't touch me anymore. Ah! Oh, Lord, I love to dance, but your breath is just burning my eyes. I can't take it anymore. It was me, all right? I had to do the pendant scene. I didn't want to rush it. I wanted to take my time. I wanted to think about it. I wanted to be very accusational because I was, you know, accusing people of being the murderer. I'm going to hypnotize you. I cannot be hypnotized. I have an iron... <laughs> Boy, those performances sure moved me to tears. I cried, I laughed, I spit blood. It was better than cats, black cats. And speaking of bad luck, it's time to slice the competition down from 13 to seven. To help me judge, I've resurrected Kane Hodder, best known as Jason Voorhees. Six-time Academy Award winner, Rick Baker. No one in the world knows more about makeup, except me. Plus, Man Virus, Christian, and Patterson. Okay, girls. You know, you've all done an incredible job. It was amazing. Are you excited? Yes! Okay, you've all done fantastic, don't you think, boys? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And they look but fantastic. They do, they look yeah. fantastic. But now, it's time for some eliminations. Miss Monster. What's Miss Monster doing here? Like, it's Miss Monster. Why is she competing for Elvira? Whatever. Rip Baker. What, what do you think? Well, I like her name. It's a good name. Yeah. yeah. I like the way she looks. And I thought she was really good. Yeah. She has nice abs, too. Abs? The abs? Abs. Oh, abs. Okay. 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 Okay, tell she's facing this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. The nightmare continues. You're in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. Yvette? 
Come on forward. That's beautiful. I haven't seen her Elviraness yet, but she's she's pretty. Now, Tane, let's hear what you thought about Yvette. Well, I think her look is really good. I mean, she's got, you know, a good personality, great smile, and I think she did a good job. Fantastic. Yvette. The nightmare continues. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's an action. Asia. I don't know if she wants me to say this, but I was amazed when I found out that those were real. I was like, wow, really? Oh my god, that's that's awesome. I like Asia. She needs to work on her acting a little. She really put the rack back in Dracula, if you know what I mean. Line. Other than the acting, I like Asia. And that's rare because I don't like anybody, Asia, and you know that. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Asia. You've got to rest, didn't you? The biggest shock for me was when Asia was given the boot. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to cry or pass out or throw up. I, I was sick because I thought that she really was going to be in there till the end. Nina, can you walk? Up? Don't hurt yourself in those boots now. I'm all right now. Okay. okay. <laughs> Patterson, what did you think of Nina? Um. I wasn't really thrilled with the acting. <laughs> Why are you screaming? But, you know, you're a cute girl, and you're young, so there's a whole lot of time going on, but, you know, it's not up to me. Me, you know. Rest in peace. <laughs> Elga. Oh, I still love her to death. This was a great experience. It was a humbling experience, and it was awesome meeting all these girls. Helga, you forgot a bone. You can keep it. Souvenir. April? Today, I show up, and I'm wearing my dress with my boobs popping out. I'm looking hot, and I look over, and who do you think has copied my dress? Who do you think has cut their dress and sewn it like mine? She did. Well, April, I thought you did a really great acting job. Well, you call it a road trip. <laughs> call it being bound and gagged and stuffed into the back of a hearse. The nightmare continues. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Jenny. Jenny is my partner in crime. We're the two tokens. Token Vira. So I'm like, go token Asian Elvira. And she's like, go Blue Elvira. So I'm like, that's Black Elvira. I, I thought Ginny was great. Her performance was really terrific. I this place is cursed? <laughs> I think I actually gave her the highest score. And, and I oh. think when she's made up in the Elvira makeup, she'll look great. Well, guess what? The nightmare continues. Thank you. Who's next? Erica. I love Eric. <laughs> you know, and he's having a heck of a time. You know, because it, it takes him a little bit longer, or her a little bit longer to do everything, and she's hanging in there. It almost does take, you know, a, a girl with a little extra something to pull off Elvira. Yeah, you should know. Yeah. No, hey! <laughs> That's not a little extra something, okay? Oh. That's oh. not what I've heard. Oh, oh well, then oh, you've God, been, then you've been talking oh. to the wrong people. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, it takes a lot of guts to do this. And, you know, I, 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 like, I like seeing you that you've gotten this far. But, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Erica. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Looks like uh, Eric had an extra bone there. She was just kind of bummed that she had a you know, eliminate me. So she says, you know, it's a tough role to do. But, you know, it was great that you made it this far, so that was cool. Shelly. You know what, Shelly? And if you're watching this, you're prettier and smarter than you can give yourself credit for. Acting-wise, Shelly needs help. I would like to thank all of you for being here. Oops, I already goofed off. <laughs> and I was not impressed. That just took it right down for me. I know I kind of goofed, you know, whatever, but I didn't think I was that bad. See you in hell, Elvira. Jelena. 
Jelena's got the most beautiful eyes that I've ever seen. They're so big, it's like they look right into my soul. There was two girls in my estimation that did a fantastic job with the performance. Oh my God! I'm in Michigan! I think one of the top two for sure. Jelena? Your nightmare continues. <laughs> Lady M. I love Lady M so much. She is so awesome, and she has a great personality, and she's really bubbly, and, and she's just a lot of fun. The performance, the acting performance. Hey, I know it's old, but don't use the curse to make fun of my dress. I felt almost like maybe it, it just was a bad time for you because I wasn't really feeling an Elvira angle on it. If you told me you didn't like the way I looked, I can accept that. To tell me I'm a bad actress, don't accept it. Ah! I love you. Helga. You know, I don't feel I did anything wrong. I'm not gonna go by a drag queen's opinion of my acting, whose sole career is based on imitating one actress. And they both can have to do that. Nothing. <laughs> Oh, uh, Helga, didn't you know that was the agony of defeat? Kitty! Kitty, kitty! Kitty, she is gorgeous. When I saw her at the Queen Mary, I was like, oh god, like, she looks so good, look at that tiny little waist. I thought you did an excellent job uh, acting. She had black hair like yours. Uh-huh. The nightmare continues. You're Thank you. I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> Bridget and Lola. Come on down, girls. OK. Lola is a lot of fun, and it was her and I until the very end. So we were in it like this. What's not to love about Bridget? Girls, as you know, one of you will be in, one of you will be out. Bridget, I'm, I love the leopard. The choice was fantastic. Little whip action. I'm not so down with the blonde hair thing, as you know. We've gone over that a million times. <laughs> and Lola, you did an excellent acting job, I thought. You did it, and I'm going to prove it. How? Oh. What, you two, like, geek chorus or something? But you know, we had way too much class. continues Lola this project has definitely helped my evolution of being a better Elvira but um, uh, I wish I was around a little bit longer to absorb a little bit more from her well girls congratulations and you have earned a party <laughs> Last night at the celebration party was really fun. They selected the final seven, and then Elvira walks over and announces that. Tomorrow, as you know, somebody has to leave the show. Right now, I'm going to call two girls down, Miss Monster and Yvette. Girls, can you come over here and stand? It's not going to be up to me. It's not going to be up to Kane Hodder. It's not going to be up to Rick. It's not even going to be up to the evil Christian or Patterson. It's going to be up to you girls, you five girls, to vote for one of these two. One will stay, and one will go to hell. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Kind of, ooh, scary. Nothing is sacred as the contestants let her rip. Oh, God, is it turning into that kind of competition? No, please say no. I was having fun. When the search for the next Elvira continues. Wow. 
Well, we just clawed our way down from the unlucky 13 to the sinister 7. But whoever said something about 7 being a lucky number wasn't in this competition. Oh, sure, till now it's been all high fives and air kisses. Can't wait to see what happens when they have to throw one of their own to the werewolves. Oh, I don't have to wait. <laughs> well, then just roll it for Pete's sake. My strategy was just, you know, to open, open up myself to the girls and um, let them know how much it means to me and how much, you know, the competition is going to keep on riding with all of us going instead of just being a waste of time with someone else. Girls, I can't even believe it's come down to this. You gotta help me, guys. I mean, I gotta be in this competition with you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. I mean, it's it's not even out the door yet, but have you seen the competition? I mean, come on. That outfit went out with her about 10 years ago. Let me tell you, just like her career. Yvette started off on a good foot, really dramatic and like, come on, guys, I'm gonna stay here with you. Um, and then it kind of got weird, like, I wasn't sure where she was going. Sorry. Ah. She kind of came in playing up the, you know, like, us girls gotta stick together, friend angle, and like, you know, I'm like, that's cool, but we, I mean, this is kind of, I mean, that was like the most excited I think I've seen her since, like, we were, like I think she just like kind of turned it on for the camera. Oh my gosh. I gotta tell you, it's been such a wonderful ride with you girls and first she was like who do you who do you like telling me that she wants to be the winner and I was like girl don't go there <laughs> you know what I'm saying you guys are all awesome and we're gonna keep going together I would like to see a really good Elvira I'm badass <laughs> <Jesus. Whoa. laughs> So that was really going into today with the five women that I had to plead to. Hopefully the best one will get picked. Hello, my fellow mistresses. I came on the show to support horror hosting. So I guess the real question for you is, for the next few elimination competitions, which would you rather? Someone who has your back? Or someone who's going to stab you in the back. I'm stabbing in the back. That was kind of like, ooh, a little scary. But at the same time, was uh, made you think. I might not have said that line had I been doing a plea. But she is very well spoken. Whoa! I'm like, oh god, is it turning into that kind of competition? No, please say no. I was having fun. Now we have to pick one of the two gals to send home, and and that's something I didn't want to have to do. And now I know how Elvira feels. I really feel bad about that. And I don't, you know, it's not an easy decision of who I want to go. Because I really don't want either to go, but. It's a competition for the best Elvira. I mean, like, I would never vote for somebody that, like, you know, vote somebody off because I thought that they were competition. First of all, that's a big disservice to Elvira. Second of all, I think that's just dirty rotten. I'm really sorry. There was a little bit of politics when we were walking onto the car. People were asking, do you know who you're going to vote for already? What do you think? What do, what's your opinion of this person and that person? And it, it's, it boils down to being a really hard decision. Man, all this talk of killing someone off, it's like planning your own funeral. Sexy. <laughs> who will live to fright another day and who will get buried by the competition. The answer is coming right up after these massages. I mean, messages. Dang. Wow, it's about time. No, really, it is about time. We've got a schedule to keep here, people. Ah, as we have seen, friendship is only as deep as the white foundation on a perfectly sculpted cheekbone. These vamps have heard a lot of chin music about who should stay, but one is about to get the ax as the gals reveal their vote. Take it away, ladies. Okay, ladies, now it's time for Eat Your Own. Girls have chosen one of you to be eliminated. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing, absolutely nothing, okay, so don't blame me. Yvette. One vote. Uh, 
Yvette. Well, Yvette, let me tell you, if there is one more card in here that says Yvette, because there's five people, that means you're eliminated. Yvette. I'm sorry, Yvette. Rest in peace. <laughs> I think it was probably having to talk to the girls and plead for, you know, my last chance to continue on the show. I'm not really good at that because um, I don't really think that I have to beg and plead to get anything. It feels a lot lighter now. Um, there's less women. I think this is when the reality show gets real. Congratulations, girls. Oh, getting voted out is always a real pain in your aspirations. <sighs> don't worry. Now that we're down to the sexy six, we're turning up the heat. Take a look at our next episode. On the next search for the next Elvira. Oh, she's got like feathers all over her. Something. The sexy six scare it up with a sinister snake. I've been wrapping around my neck. I'm like, ah. <laughs> then it's time to see how these Elvira wannabes take control on a date from hell. My mother's calling me. See how reality TV's most annoying bachelors are seduced. Richard Rubin from Beauty and the Geek. No, she's not Jewish. BJ Avril, winner of the Amazing Race. Come on, let's do it. Let's eat. Let's eat the scorpions. And Jedi Howie from Big Brother. I could feed these teeth for hours. Yeah. Then it's off to Universal Studios Hollywood, where the sexy six will sell their soul. I'm gonna let some lady touch my boob. I will. Oh yes. Elvira and the judges will choose the final three, and then America votes. That's right, you will decide who will be the winner. The new Mistress of the Dark on the search for the next Elvira. Well, our second show is just a memory. Er, a memory. We shopped, we stabbed each other in the back, we laughed and we cried. We laughed at people who cried. We went from the unlucky 13 all the way down to the sexy 6. Think of it as an Elvira diet, but instead of losing dress sizes, we're actually losing people. I love that. And I love doing this show. I really do. You know, just last week someone said to me, Elvira, why do you do it? And I said, not now, Mom. I am doing a show. <laughs> Till next time, unpleasant dreams. time on the search for the next Elvira. Suck it in, bitch. Suck it in. The ladies undressed for success in a titillating shopping spree. 30 minutes to shop and try things on and purchase? Impossible! <laughs> I know, but I like to be... I think too slutty. Now I know why married men drink. The horror hottie showed off the stage presence in a haunting scream Hi. test. <laughs> Elvira and Judges, multiple Academy Award winning makeup artist Rick Baker and star of Friday the 13th, Kane Hodder, slice the unlucky 13 down to a sinful seven. And the queen of Halloween made the girls eat one of their own. I'm sorry, Yvette. Rest in peace. <laughs> It's time for the search for the next Elvira. It's simply the most shocking reality show of all time. The sexy six scare it up with a sinister snake. I've been wrapping around my neck. I'm like, ah. A show so scary, no, it'll make some people throw up in their mouth. 
Witness how these Elvira wannabes take control on a date from hell. Oh, you do have a big sword. Do you like playing with your saber? Then it's off to Universal Studios Hollywood, where the sexy six will sell their soul. Can you let some lady touch my boob? I will. Oh, yes. On the search for the next Elvira. Hello, darling. Is little old me, the gal with a shape that drives the boys ape. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. You know, I'm looking for the next Elvira, and the competition is steaming up. I've narrowed it down to six sexy sirens who will do anything to be yours cruelly. Tonight's first competition takes the girls to fabulous Universal Studios Hollywood, where they learn a key lesson in being me. I'll slap my name on anything for a buck. So we've asked my little darlings to hawk my double delicious new copy on a day that's hot as heck. And I will tell you, it is like trying to sell panties to Britney Spears, okay? Let's see if they have the right kind of product placement for our first challenge, sell your soul. The challenge is called Sell Your Soul, uh, which I got a lot of people to do. I got a page and a half. Challenge is Sell Your Soul I'm right here. I mean, uh, your yeah, email address. Right. Woo! <laughs> I got a little bit on my chest there. Guys always love that, right? And so you have to start running out and talking to people and trying to get them to have a cup of coffee in 100 degree weather. What if I did like a coffee, like, can can for you? Luckily, I found a Chinese couple, so I could pull that one off, you know what I mean? I gotta tell you, I'm liking the foreign language angle. Oh, I think you're doing you. a really, really good job so thank far. Thank you. I need your help. It's hotter than Tin Hells, to put it frankly. Seriously, like I was boiling hot, sweat everywhere. It's the best, I mean, best coffee you'll ever try. Oh, I was so busy in my booth that I have no idea what was going on with the other boobs. I mean, booths. So. <laughs> Everybody has to sign my black book because I need dates. Slow. Not a lot of crowds, um, but there were, were interested people. Interested males, I would say, of course. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, I think you, uh, you lost your better half. Uh, yeah. Well, I could be your new better half. And then I think I took that I sold my soul a little bit too too far because I let some lady touch my boob. I <laughs> oh, yes. And and I think uh, Patterson kind of got mad at me, but he was just like, listen, Elvira is not going to let anybody touch her boob. You trade you a picture for your phone number? Yes, please. Please, you like that? And then you give me your number, right? Oh, I'll give you, you better give me your number. <laughs> That's the next one. Next up, I right here. If anybody call the problem here, you let me know. I'll be the next practice tonight. Who wants some pumpkin spice? Every day I'm hustling just a little bit more. To help me judge, I've resurrected Kane Hodder, best known as Jason Voorhees. Six-time Academy Award winner, Rick Baker. No one in the world knows more about makeup, except me. Plus, Man Virus, Christian, and Patterson. All right, guys, starting at the coffee score. Now, um, okay, let's see, Patterson, um, I know you were there with them, so uh, you have a little insight into what- All in all, like. out at the top of them all, that just seemed to never run out of lines when that had been April. She was, she was in character constantly. April seems to be the front runner for me, uh, just consistently good. April, and oh my God, April was so funny. She was uh, just out there selling it, you know? Uh, uh, she, was, she had no shame at all. Uh, below April, it was running a, a three-way between, <laughs> yeah, between Jenny and, uh, uh, Jelena and Bridget. Jen blew me away this time. As far as collecting hilarious. the numbers and the emails or email addresses, Jelena just. Oh yeah, she blew everybody away. She got the most. Uh, Jelena got the highest. Maybe they're afraid that she would bite them. And don't care if you hate my guts. Don't care if you shoot me. Don't give a. Shit. 
I didn't like Bridget this time around. It's just like, oh my god, I've got huge <laughs> by my coffee, I'm on Playboy. Well, the thing I like about Bridget, though, is that is, uh, she seems like she has no morals, which is a very uh, similar thing to me. Well, I was uh, say. That's, a, that's a plus. But again, I still am not feeling Elvira from any of them. Like I I'm going to echo his sentiments about uh, Elvira. I, I, I'm still waiting to see Elvira from any of them. However, in terms of uh, coming the closest, I, I think it's sort of unanimous that April has done the best, shine the brightest. Now, don't touch that dial. If you act right now, you'll also receive a challenge of unbelievable horror. A date with a reality TV star. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Woo! Oh, God, I love Elvira chicks. Things go bump in the night as our Elvira oh, no. wannabes go on a date from hell. My mother's calling me. Uh, no. And later, the sexy six strut their uh, stuff on Elvira's casting so couch. My was like... Like going all crazy, and I was like, <laughs> when the search for the next Elvira continues. Welcome back, darlings. You know, there is nothing creepier than being on a blind date, except, of course, being on a blind date with a reality TV star. Let's see if the girls are bugged by this little challenge. I like to call it Bump in the Night. <laughs> We just did this challenge, it was called Bump in the Night, and it was this secret blind date that we had to go on, and the guy that I went on a date with, his name is Howie, and he's from Big Brother. Oh my dear gosh. Howie. Oh, I love you. And it was really hard for me, because I have not been on a date in like five and a half years. I've been with Hef this whole time, so no dates. It was hard. So, what do you do? Oh, I'm, uh, well, I, I, I sell swords for a living. I used to. Swords? Yeah, I, I sell, I'll get so into that. So you like big bit. sticks? I love big, you like big sticks? I love big sticks. What's wrong? You're Elvira, you're being flirtatious, you this is your date, you're taking control of this conversation, you're dominating. So I just kept pulling them back in. I'm like one with the Jedi. You know, we talked earlier about swords and everything else. Yeah, tell me. I like to practice the Jedi art. Oh, you do have a big sword. Do you like playing with your saber? Oh, gosh. I mean, I love playing it by, with it by myself. I love being out, you know, playing with my stick with, you know, other people having uh -huh. fights. Do you let other people play with it? I prefer to have other people play with the stick. Really? It's, yeah, it, it, so I might even be able to play with your stick later. You know, breeding the Elvira Jedi population, I think that's a positive thing wow. for, for Earth, for Pluto, for Mars, whoa, for the universe. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're already talking about breeding? Back it up, buddy. This is a first date. <laughs> Breeding. I was talking about your stick. Honey, I'm sold. Let's go back to my dungeon for a nightcap and demonstrate your lightsaber. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God, I love Elvira chicks. Hef, honey, I'm really sorry about the date. I had no choice, and you know I'd do anything to be the next Elvira. So, what's your name? I'm Jay. BJ? Nice to meet you. I'm Kitty. What does BJ stand for? Big joystick or something? Um, no? I do have a big joystick. Uh, I went on the date with BJ uh, from The Amazing Race, and I, I didn't know anything about him going into it. He's a sweetheart. <laughs> he looks kind of like a wolf man. Are you First ready piece. to order? Oh, um... Uh, I would suggest I, well, the crickets or the scorpions. I would say the, uh, the scorpions. I guess I'll try the crickets then. Certainly. It was a tough challenge for me. <laughs> and and the, the food that was served was pretty shocking. Scorpion toilet. Oh, beautiful. I think they're they're very low carb. Are they? Oh great. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow, they're gorgeous. Scorpion. Are you really gonna eat this? Sure, if you oh, really great. eat this. Um, I, I thought he was kidding and then I realized, oh my god, I'm supposed to eat this cricket. And uh, I'm glad that they had it seasoned. I'm just kidding. In there. <laughs> Cheers. Spicy. Wine helps you taste better. I, I still can't believe I ate it. I don't want to think about it. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. So I guess I'll just uh, go howl at the moon. And you are? I am. Your name? I'm Richard. So are you a dick then? As in Richard? I am not a dick. Definitely not what I would call romantic, per se. Richard is interesting. He's, you know, 
Men with uh, nosy mothers. Is that a Star Trek community? No, in no, no. My mother's calling me. Uh, no. no Mom? No, no, no. no, no. Mom, no, 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 I'm no, on no, a date. No, 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 no. No, she's not Jewish. Oh. Hi, Mom. Richard's a little tied up at the moment. Yes. Okay, well, we'll talk to you later. What are you doing? No, 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 no! Whose mother calls during a date? And who answers their mother's phone call during a date? All right, Richard. So what do you do for fun? I like to get down and diggy with it. Oh, yeah, he was super cavalier. I like a little hubba hubba. A little hubba hubba, huh? A little take me back and uh, for some sweet screams? Yes. <laughs> he, you know, thought that he had it all, and obviously, he didn't. So. What's after dinner? Sex. Sex? Just like that? Well, you've stayed here this long, mm. and you haven't left. Jeeves has served up and neither of us is eating it. So why don't we? All right, let's go. Well, Richard, maybe I'll see you around at uh... You know, the cemetery, after I drank a bucket of cyanide. These girls better not try to worm their way out of this. There's another creepy course when we return. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. I guess I made him want to play with his big light saber stick. <laughs> Love heats up on the dates from hell. Uh, what did Mama Tomato say to the uh, baby? Ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. Oh, you know that joke. Ah! When the search for the next Elvira continues. Welcome back, my little horror harlots. Our gals are on a date from hell. I mean, I don't know which is the bigger pest, the guys or the food. Hope my girls know how to keep both of them out of their hair. Oh my dear gosh, thank the maker. Oh my dear gosh. Okay, well I walk up and Howie, I think, was a bit sprung. <laughs> Overwhelmed, maybe, by my outfit. So oh. you can pull out my chair? Oh, I'm sorry, I was just about to get to do that. I think you read my mind. Yeah. Like... This is kind of Princess Lei, kind of when she's chained up with uh, Jabba the Hutt. So I think he was probably like, ding, 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 and to his lightsaber was like, boom. Uh, what do you feel, how do you feel about the Jedi way? I love the Jedi way. I love, ooh, it's a long really? lightsaber. So <laughs> I guess I made him want to play with his big light. Saber sticks. <laughs> yeah. It was nice to meet you. You too. Thank you very much. Oh wow. Thank you. <laughs> uh, is, it, is the restaurant still open? Oh gosh, thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I only kind of sort of knew who this guy was. I don't watch that show that much. Um, he was really hairy. Can I ask what BJ stands for? Because I think uh, only one thing when I hear that. Bon Jovi. <laughs> yeah, I started good. And my jokes that I had in my head, I kind of blew all out at the first round. <laughs> it's hard to swallow them. You just keep, keep chewing. I've had a hard time out. swallowing myself sometimes, if you know what I mean. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> He was funny. Um, some guys like to give girls a different type of necklace at the end of a date, but I went ahead and went with the millipede necklace. Ooh, how does it look? You can never figure out how to get these things right. clasped on. Whoops, Whoa. I dropped it. Oh, dear. Um, it dropped a little bit in my, in my cleavage, but uh, I'm used to things dropping in there all the time. It was fun. <gasps> cool. Oh, no, oh, I actually had some already. You guys gonna even get a winner from Beauty and the Geek? Really? Wow. Ah, ah, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah. Well, this date's going well. He, uh, he looked down, got surprised, and like flew the table up at me. My goodness, man, I'm calm sorry. down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just fine. No, 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 don't help. Sit. Please, it'll Sit. be my honor. Down, now. So, yeah, I think I have some wine stains and stuff, which is gonna look awesome for the rest of this competition. My ardor knows no bounds for you, my little matzo ball. 
matzo ball. Matzo balls. Oh, you got some nice matzo balls. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I got some nice matzo balls. Oh, I bet you do. When was the last time you saw the light of day? They saw the light of day. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think, uh, this ever. Weird. Yeah, that, uh, that whole thing was just awkward upon awkward upon awkward. This was a lovely date. Nice try. What's the term? Um, hell no. Oh, wow. Well, that was a challenge, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, the date's from hell. I liked April and Bridget. Uh, the other girls just, they kind of fell flat. Fell so flat, that's the worst thing you can do as Elvira. I, I kind of agree. I, as far as the girls taking charge, Bridget and April and I think Miss Monster did the best job of actually taking charge. I completely agree. Bridget and April, by far the best. Jelena was up there for me. Um, as far as the guys, the dates, a couple of them, I'd like to punch them in their face, but <laughs> just that's just me, I, that's, you know. Well, I was probably the most let down by um, Jelena. Uh, Jelena was, I mean, she's a pretty girl, but she did a lot of just smiling and staring and giggling, and the kissing was just way too much. I'd have to say I think Jelena, Jelena this time around, was the weakest uh, she's been through the whole thing. And now I ask the girls to be funny, fabulous, and focused as they intro a horror classic and claim the title Queen of Camp. Oh, and I hope they don't mind the little slight distraction we've placed upon them. Well, um, all along I was thinking about how I was going to be sitting on the couch and how I was going to use my hands for gesturing and all kinds of cutesy little effects. And then just before we were about to go on, Patterson came out and he said, Oh yeah, that's right. You're going to be doing this with a snake. Hello, darling. Come in, come in. Entree vous if you catch my drift. It's me again, that TV beauty with the cute little booty. You know, laying eyes on you always gets me so excited. And from the looks of things, I guess the same could be said for you. Hey, why don't you just take a load off that little old mind of yours and have a seat right over there? Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Just a little practical joke to keep you on your toes. Tonight, my celluloid torture here on Movie Macabre is a little piece of fluff called The House That Screamed. Ah! It's the story of a guy selling track homes out in the San Fernando Valley. I've been boning up on my real estate material. Why, I'm just so full of it. Without further ado, or without further ado, let's get this show into escrow. The House That Screamed, coming up on good old Movie Macabre. I was happy about Bridget because, you know, she was a bunny, and it was a good thing she didn't get eaten by the snake. No. <laughs> there was no pause. Yeah, she didn't even stop to take a breath. Yeah. She threw every line away. Hello, darling. It's little old me, that gal with the wiggle that makes the boys giggle, Elvira, mistress of the dark. You know, choosing movies every week for movie macabre ain't just a matter of sifting through a few film cans to pick what's worse. I mean, what works. No, it's not quite that easy. Sometimes I spend hours doing it. Then, on the other hand, sometimes I spend hours doing my nails, so I guess it all comes out in the wash. Okie dokie, just a little insight there into what it's really like to be mistress of the dark. Right now, it's showtime, and I'll just have to schlep my cans up to the projection booth, more mistress of the dark work, and uh, we'll have this sucker all up and running and ready to go. What's it called again? Oh yeah, it's called, uh, well, why not let it just be a surprise? Unpleasant dreams. Yeah, I usually like all of this scary, creepy stuff, and the snake kind of threw me off. I gotta tell you, it was really tight. Um, the scales really hurt, you know? Okay, that wasn't working for me, Ms. Monster. She's just expressionless. What's wrong with that? She's Eastern German hooker, just, I will break your back for free. <laughs> Well, it looks like Chocolate the Snake is keeping our girls on their toes. Let's see them try to slither their way out of this when we return. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Little old me, the guy who put the boob back in the boob tube. Things get even more campy in the Queen of Camp Test. I was like, oh, I like snakes are no problem. I'm like a little snake charmer, you know what I'm saying? And later, the judges slice the girls in half. <laughs> Not literally. The competition gets trimmed from the sexy six to the final three. 
when we continue the search for the next Elvira. Oh, hello there. Welcome back to the search for the next Elvira. Well, it's starting to get down to the nitty gritty. Ooh, starting to send shivers up your, well, let's just say it's sending shivers. The next challenge is called the Queen of Camp. Each of the remaining contestants must introduce a classic horror film, a ghoulish goulash, just like two of my latest DVDs being released by Shout Factory. See, both are double features. The House That Screamed, plus Man Eater of Hydra, and Monstroid, plus Blue Sunshine, all movie Mac biggies. Well, it's the big finito, the exciting conclusion. What I'm saying is it's time for these ladies to step up to the couch. Hello, darling. Yes, sirree, it's little me, that devil may care, quipstress of the air, Elvira, mistress of the dark. The show, as you know, is movie macabre. And once again, it's time to set sail for adventure in the South Seas. Yes, it's off to Blood Island for the oh positive time of your life. <laughs> Let me tell you about the movie. It's something called Beast of the Dead. And it's all about this, uh, well, this beast. And he's like, like, dead. Well, maybe he ain't exactly dead, but close enough so that you wouldn't know the difference. So I like my last boyfriend. <laughs> so anyway, you got this beast, and he's, he's, I guess when it comes to the story, you're on your own. Unpleasant dreams. Okay, so that was Sandra Bernhardt hosting Movie Macabre. Oh, oh. oh. You don't, you didn't see that at all? <laughs> well, she does have a little, just her lip shape. I mean, and that oh. gap in her tooth is bothering me now. <laughs> There's always dentures, like that. Yeah. my dental plate. I don't wear dentures as a dental plate. <laughs> you wear a denture. No. You got them all pulled out so you could be better at, you know. Oh. <sighs> Hello, darling. It's a little old me. The gal who put the boob back in the boob tube. Elvira, mistress of the dark. Ah. Uh, Hello? I'm up here. I'm up here. Okay, let's talk movie macabre. Though. This time around, we're serving up a little treat called Dr. Heckle and Mr. Hype. I think it's like a rip-off. Uh, I mean, I think it's like an adaptation. Yeah, sorry, adaptation. <laughs> of a classic story with a similar title. Heck of it is, I'm trying to remember what that classic story is. <sighs> anyway, no matter. I'm sure it'll come to me sooner or later. Dr. Heckle and Mr. Hyde, another movie Mac winner, coming your way right now. Oh, everybody's disappointing me today. Mm -hmm. And this is where I thought they were going to kick ass. She has a good look, though. <laughs> yeah. She, she does have a good. fantastic look. She I think she great. looks really, really cool. She very peaks and valleys with her delivery. She was up and down, and she was very animated in the face. What she couldn't do with her arms, she did with her face. Hello, darling. It's little old mom. That gal with the smile that does it with style, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. The show, as you know, is Movie Macabre, AKA one last chance to get a little mileage out of that bunch of celly white turkeys, huh? <laughs> and I'm just a gal who can't say no. Well, actually, I did say no once, but only when someone had asked me if I'd ever said no before. <laughs> so, how do you like the dress? Yeah, I know. <laughs> kind of defies gravity, doesn't it? I like to dress to impress, and believe me, this dress leaves an impression on everybody. Especially me. Ouch. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> if this dress doesn't drive you crazy, then tonight's movie will. It's called The Incredible Two-Headed Tranny, I mean, uh, Transplant. <laughs> and it's all about, well, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll see you at intermissions, darling. Bella, 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 little attitude. Girl got it going on. She does, and she seems to really shine in this. I mean, she definitely has uh, got some of the highest scores in my my list anyways. I haven't found a, a category to score her low in at all. I just wish these girls would enjoy it and not rush it. Hello, darling. It's me, the gal on the couch who ain't no slouch, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. The name of the show, as I'm sure you all know, is Movie Macabre. It's a, a ghoulish goulash spiced to perfection by yours cruelly. It's time to open up the vault and reel out another clunker for your viewing displeasure. This one is called In of the Damned. Oh. Uh, I mean darned. In of the darned. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not the plot, that's for sure. We're taking you down under to the outback. Or is it out back to the down under? Well, no matter. What I'm talking about, of course, is that land of koalas and kangaroos a playing with your didgeridoo till your hands turn blue. Australia, it's another movie, my biggie, and it's coming right up. 
unpleasant dreams. That's what happens when you don't, you, when you're not a professional teleprompter reader like myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we get a chance to see how the girls do under pressure. I don't know why they were so nervous. I mean, chocolate melts in your mouth, not your hand. Stick around. There's more belly crawling when we get back. No, not from the snake, silly. From the girls. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Hello, Helga. What now? Discover who survives the final elimination. April's too chunky and not elegant and sexy enough. If that's the truth, and you guys can see that. We'll announce the final three next on the search for the next Elvira. Well, hello there, you wicked weirdos. It's time for our sexy sextet to be split down the middle as our judges pick the final three girls that will make it to the finale on Halloween night in front of a live audience. Through all of the trials and tribulations, I have really grown fond of these girls. But there is no room in my army of the night for so, so, so. Three girls gotta go. All righty, gals. Today is Judgment Day. As you know, there are six of you, and only three can go to the final round. You all have a little bit of Elvira happening. You definitely do. You all look really good. I, I advise you all to stay out of the way of my car when I'm leaving today, because I don't need no more competition. Um, but we have to pick three. And so what I'm going to do right now is pair you off we're going to stand over here and we're going to make our decision. Kitty and Jenny, stand over here to my left. Okay, they lined us all up and they paired us into twos, into three groups. Well, Ms. Monster, you were in very good control on your date. My mother's calling me. Uh, no. No, no, no. no, I'm on a date. No! What are you doing? No, 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 no! And I have to say, not over. I had a blast. I had so much fun. And I'm so glad that Elvira did this um, and had this TV show. And it's been wonderful to meet the girls, to hang out with people that love horror and gore and creepy crawlies and Halloween. And yeah, I'm really glad that I got to be here and be a part of it all. Oh, OK, Jelena. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you definitely filled out your lingerie. You, you got that part of it down, girl. That's for sure. And you've also got a smile as big as your eyes, which is really going to come in, in handy. Selena? She reached for the lever, and my face was like, she's going to make a joke. She's going to be her funny self. Rest in. It's just like, a holy Hello, Helga! What now? Can't you see I'm having my quality time? Can't do anything around here. All I have to do is walk, 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 walk. My, 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 we have a short temper, don't we? Listen. Why don't you just kiss my ash? I quit. I think this job may just be a little over her head. Ha! <gasps> okay, girls. Kitty. You know, out there in the hot desert sun at Universal, the people really loved you. They trade you a picture for your phone numbers? And then you give me your number, right? Oh, I'll give you, you better give me your number. There's a bottle right here. And you really have a great look. I think you have a great goth look. Uh, and Jenny, you did a good monologue. It's time to open the vault and reel out another clunker for your viewing displeasure. This one is called In of the Damned. Oh, I mean darned. In of the Darned. Uh, your date was a little rough. May I ask? 
ask what BJ stands for? Because I think uh, only one thing when I hear that. Bon Jovi. <laughs> yeah. I think the guy was kind of taking control, and Elvira never, ever lets the guy do that. But you really kind of redeemed yourself there with the coffee. You don't know Elvira is No. You don't know. Mistress of the Dark is this Halloween. It's Halloween. Speaking Mandarin and everything, which I do, but I, I just didn't want to show off. <laughs> Girls, the nightmare continues for you both. <laughs> okay, back to your original positions, okay? Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay, girls. April, you uh, did a great monologue. Well, <laughs> if this dress doesn't drive you crazy, then tonight's movie will. It's called The Incredible Two-Headed Tranny, I mean, uh, Transplant. <laughs> and it's all about, well, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll see you at intermissions, darling. I loved how you controlled your date. My goodness, man, <laughs> calm sorry. down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just fine. No, 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 don't help. Sit. Please, it'll Sit. be my honor. Down, now. That was very Elvira. And Bridget, obviously, you are a pro. You're funny. You're cute. You, you actually ought to think about a career in showbiz. <laughs> because, uh, really, you were, you were really good. <laughs> Keep that in mind. But, as you know, girls, one of you has got to go. All righty. Bridget, you have been found guilty of being a blonde. Rest in peace. That was it for me. Even though I'm growing black, just from being here, it must be the water. It's just like crazy stuff around here. April, you're in the top three. Your nightmare continues. No. No. Howdy, horror hounds. Well, we cut the competition in half, and now it's time for the girls to throw dignity out the door. Oh, yeah, and they should uh, probably beg to stay in the competition, too. Rack them. Hello, darlings. It's yours cruelly, Elvira. I mean, April. <laughs> and I want you to vote for me on Search for the Next Elvira. I swear as the next Elvira that I will uphold the same level of tacky puns and low-grade horror that we have come to know and love over the last millennia, I mean years. <laughs> I will do what it takes to uphold the name Elvira. I will busty, I mean bust, the competition and lay them six feet under. I'll bend over backwards, I'll bend over forwards to be your next mistress of the dark. <laughs> I promise to bust out titillating performances and more cheese in a Velveeta factory. I'll give those teen scream queens a run for their lives. I'm loud and tacky and a little bit sassy. So make the right choice and make my nightmares come true and vote me as the next queen of Halloween. Until next time, boys and ghouls, unpleasant dreams. Hello, darling. Kitty Corvette here, reminding you to do your patriotic duty to cast your vote. For the next Elvira, that is. Now you know, Elvira has an awfully big bra, uh, shoes to fill, and I know just the gal for the job. Me! <laughs> for your vote, I'd bend over backward, I'd bend over forward, why I'd stand on my head and eat a bug. And you know I would too. So come on, America. You know you're just dying to elect this vamp, the gal with extra sass, class, charm, and plenty of sex appeal. So pick up that phone now and cast that vote for the one and only Kitty Corvette, I need your immoral support. Unpleasant dreams. Well, it's election time again. No, not that one, even though there's a lot of boobs running for both. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about a time to pick someone who will try to be an equal to the position of sequel to that little lady who's always on top, the queenie of Halloweeny, Elvira, mistress of the dark. You know, some people have a really hard time. Uh, with elections, that is. Sometimes you just need someone to give you a helping hand. Someone who can start you up and get you going. Voila, here I am, Jenny, 
ready, willing, and dying to cater to all your search for the next Elvira election needs. After torturous training, I've learned how to eat your young, sell your soul, and go bump in the night. So why don't you pick me, instead of your boogers, as the next Elvira? Well, the only thing better than a heartfelt plea is immediately ripping that heart out. And speaking of bleeding hearts, my three little dumplings are going to have theirs in their throats as they tremble with anticipation for the final showdown. That's when you, yeah, I am talking to you, America, will pick the next Elvira. On the next search for the next Elvira. I keep like looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God. I look like Cassandra Peterson. This is freaking me out. It's down to the final three. This is what I really wanted. I was so hoping to be here today, and I'm still in shock. Get up close and personal with each of the finalists. I can't even believe it. I cannot believe it. I didn't think I'd make it this far at all. America will choose which one will be crowned the winner. Will it be April, Kitty, or Jenny? Find out on Halloween night with the queen of Halloween. It's the finale of... The search for the next Elvira. Vira. Well, my little fans of fear, looks like I squeezed about as much life out of that hour as I could. And, ew, it's like all over the floor. Um, could we get somebody in here with a mop? Um, but you know, seeing those gals dressed up as me made me realize something. I had no idea I was so hot. Damn, have I got a good bot or what? Oh, and don't forget to check out my great big ending to the um, competition in front of a live audience on Halloween night. That's when we'll see who America has chosen to be the next Elvira. So get out there, you people, and vote till all heck breaks loose. Till then, darling, unpleasant dreams. <laughs> The search for the next Elvira. It's simply the most shocking reality show of all time. <laughs> the final sexy three have pleaded for your votes. Voila, here I am, Jenny. Ready, willing, and dying to cater to all your search for the next Elvira election needs. They have acted in scary scenes from Elvira's haunted hills. She had black hair like yours. Uh-huh. America, you have voted. And now it's time to reveal the winner. See you in hell, Elfire. Will it be April? I will do what it takes to uphold the name Elvira. Will it be Kitty? I know just the gal for the job. Me. <laughs> or will it be Jenny? I can't even believe it. I cannot believe it. I didn't think I'd make it this far at all. Find out who will be the next Mistress of the Dark right now on the search for the next Elvira. <laughs> and now, please welcome your Master of Scaramonies, J.D. Roberto. Good evening, boys and ghouls, and welcome one and all to the finale of the search for the next Elvira. Coming to you from the heart of Hollywood, we have your VIP, or should I say RIP seats for the wildest Halloween party of the year. Happy Halloween, everybody. Good to have you with us. Over 125,000 votes were cast, and tonight, before a barely live audience, we will find out who will have the honor of becoming the next Elvira. Yeah. And speaking of the damsel of the damned, without further ado, I give you the one and only, the woman who puts the howl in Halloween, the goddess of goth, Elvira, mistress of the dark. Really, talk about a grand introduction. <laughs> Seriously, how much do I owe you? Uh, anyway, I have never been so touched before. Well, okay, except for that time I had that date with the beast with 40 fingers. <laughs> uh, but
But you know, I'm not the kind of girl to get all caught up in feelings. Um, speaking of feelings, when was the last time uh, someone touched you, JD? Well, I did run to Christian backstage before the show, so <laughs> speaking of which, we probably have the weirdest assembled group of Halloween party goers here. Elvira, many times it's been said that you have a magnificent pair of assistants. Yeah. Would, you, would you introduce us to your man, Virus? Tell us who they are. Um, we have a former boxer. Yep, I heard this guy went 10 rounds with Dracula before he went down for the count. That's right, it's this jam! Yay! What's there for? Very good. And then we have living proof that you don't have to be dead to just lie on your back all day. Patterson! As long as that wire is on top. Well, it, it has been a long and twisted journey for all three of you. Kristen, are there any moments that stick out in your mind like a bad dream about the experience? Uh, I think from the first day I stepped on the set all the way till right now, J.D., actually. Everything's just been like a nightmare One for you. One big, gigantic nightmare. You haven't been the easiest on the girls at times, though. Did Why you think that was your be? role, to be the I'm top no, guy? I'm not easy in any way. Shape That's not what I JD. heard. <laughs> in spite of what people have said. Yeah, he's been pretty hard on a lot of people I know. Well, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> before we oh, get okay, into right, trouble, right, Patterson, what about you? <laughs> Anything that sticks out in your mind other than Christian on occasion? Uh, uh, yeah, like a, like, like a bad Wait. dream. No, um, honestly, I had a blast except for, you know, all the spankings after, after the taping, you know? It really makes a guy's really? hand get tired. You got a chafed, sort of yeah. a chafed yeah. palm. <laughs> and now to the Madam of the Macabre. Any morbid memories from this marathon of misery for you? Whoa, careful there, J.D. You may get an alliteration cramp from all that. <laughs> oh, you know, these girls have been really put through an intense training program to be me. They have analyzed and dissected every aspect of me. I mean, talk about studying abroad. <laughs> and seeing these girls emerge over the top, well, my, my chest just swells with pride. Let's take a look back at how the competition unfolded. It all began at the Haunted Queen Mary, where hundreds of Mistress of the Dark Hopefuls gathered for the ultimate scream test. They came in all shapes and sizes. Some were old, some were young, some female, some male, and some in between. Are you being interviewed right now? I just kind of plop my ass down. Devilish, delicious, decadent, and desirable. The open casket call appealed to contestants from around the country and around the world. I am from Transylvania. New Jersey. From Maryland. All the way from Hawaii. Orange County, California. And some were simply out of this world. I was born in Beijing. The end of the evening saw 20 hopefuls rise to the top of the litter. Then, with the help of her man virus, the Queen of Halloween began her torturous elimination process. Rest in peace. was the unlucky 13. 13 pairs of great looking legs that would carry the competitors to their first challenge, foreplay. Shows off your best assets. Mm -hmm. Good luck. I mean, I'm thinking just the horn, nothing else. Absolute chaos. Good Lord, just dripping out all over the place. The horror hotties were ready for their close-ups. During the Haunted Hills Challenge, they had to take on a meaty role, acting. Some ladies' talents were bigger than others. Why, why, why? Elvira, the man virus, and celebrity judges Rick Baker and Kane Hodder narrowed the field of screams from 13 to seven. No one was safe. I don't like anybody, Asia, and you know that. <laughs> You've got to rest in <laughs> Erica. 
Looks like uh, Eric had an extra bone there. Lady M. The Mistress of the Dark then turned the gals on each other. Two hopeful hostesses would be eliminated by their perky peers. Stabbing in the back, it was kind of like, ooh, it was scary. But at the same time, was uh, made you think. I might not have said that line had I been doing a plea, but she is very well spoken. Whoa. I'm like, oh, God, is it turning into that kind of competition? No, <laughs> please say no. I was having fun. I'm sorry, that Rest in peace. <laughs> The Sexy Six were ready for their next blood-boiling challenge. Peddling scorching hot coffee on a blistering day at Universal Studios. Woo! <laughs> I got a little bit on my chest there. Guys always love that, right? Who wants some pumpkin spice? Ow! It's the best, I mean, best coffee you'll ever try. You just sign your soul right here. I mean, uh, your yeah, email address. Right. In terms of... Uh, coming the closest. I, I think it's sort of unanimous that April has done the best, shine the brightest. The ladies geared up for their most dastardly challenge yet. Survive a date with a reality star. Some dates went well. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank God, I love Elvira Trick. Others went to hell. Well, look at Mama Tomato say to the uh, baby. Ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. Oh, you know that joke. <laughs> The gals were finally ready to sit on Elvira's succulent red couch. But they had a surprise in store, a slithering co-star. Hello, darling. It's a little old me. The gal who put the boob back in the boob tube. Yes, sirree, it's little old me, that devil may care quipster of the air. Hello, darling. It's little old ma, that gal with the smile that does it with style. Hello, darling. It's me, the gal on the couch who ain't no slouch. The judges made up their minds and selected the top three. Then it was up to you, America, to choose the next Elvira. Certainly, we have all enjoyed the, the ups and, and downs and peaks and valleys of this competition. Now, hundreds of girls tried out and some guys, but now only three get it in the end. Uh, uh, Make it to the end. What is it about these three? What did they have that the others didn't? Well, let's just start with April. I mean, what a doll, seriously. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I, I just have never met a girl like her that didn't have an inflation valve on the back of her neck. Uh, I did, seriously, though. Uh, April has the nerves and the curves to be me. I mean, she controls men, and she can deliver on that spooky sass factor. Ooh, and then, oh my God, there's Kitty. Uh, she just curves with all the dark and delicious things like the coffee I made her hawk in 90 degree weather out there. I mean, what a trooper though. She is, she is totally into the horror thing, and she also is a really good cook. She made this fantastic blood pudding the other day that was just to die for. Seriously, I, I think she was trying to kill the other girls. <laughs> and then there's Jenny. Oh. That's right, right. The only girl who doesn't need makeup to have eyes like mine. Oh, man, Jenny has absorbed quite a bit, shall we say, my essence. And she walks like me. She sounds like me. She talks like me. Well, I'm sure as heck not going to be the first one down the long flight of stone stairs, if you know what I mean. I mean, uh... Yeah, have you guys ever seen All About Eve or Showgirls? <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it, straight from the horse's mouth. Excuse me? Uh, straight from the horror hostess's mouth. Thank you. Well, when we come back, we are headed straight into the final three's bedrooms, and tonight we're going to find out who will become the next Elvira. <laughs> Up next on the search for the next Elvira. Welcome to my lab. This is where I make all my special blends and I become the mixtress of the dark. Journey to the dark side as we explore the crypts of our final three. Where I prepare for my Elvira mess. And it wouldn't be complete without the statue of Elvira. When the search for the next Elvira continues. Welcome 
Welcome back to the season finale of Fox Reality Channel's The Search for the Next Elvira. We have got our live studio audience trick-or-treating at the strangest Halloween party of the year. How are you guys doing? I, I want to tell you something we're very, very proud of here. Our audience boasts more restraining orders per capita than any other reality show finale on television. They, it is a freak show, and we love it. Now, we've gotten to know a little bit about our judges, perhaps a little bit too much, and we've gotten to hear about Kitty, Jenny, and April, and why Elvira thinks those three are fit to enter her nightmare. Now it's time to take a few trips to their crypts and see what goes on with these ladies when they are not at each other's throats. We followed, that is followed, not stalked, April to her hometown to see how this wannabe glampire lives, so to speak. Check it out. Hello, welcome. I am April from Search for the Next Elvira, and this is my apartment. Welcome to it. This is the living room, and this is where I keep all of my crocheting stuff for the little business that I have. This is my room. Welcome. I got over here my uh, figurines. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without the statue of Elvira. I'm from San Diego, and um, I'm pretty close with my family. I'm more close to my mom than anything. She lives in San Diego. I would describe myself as a big nerd. I love um, comic books, movies. I have played Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Vampire the Masquerade. It's fun. And what I do for a living is stand in, photo double, and extra work on movies and TV shows. I'm an extra on uh, Desperate Housewives, a regular one. Um, I'm a pizza place employee in the Scavo's Pizzeria. When I'm not working, generally I'll write. Like, I like to go to coffee shops, I like to sit down, and I just write. I have two screenplays that I'm still kind of working on, and I have uh, two thirds of a novel uh, finished. I've been watching the show. I, um, I actually went with April as moral support for her interviews, and I watched the first episode. April! I thought that she would make the top three. I mean, I've been telling her that from the beginning. She was totally stressing out because of the Queen Mary. She didn't actually get to meet Elvira. She thought that her whole tape was gonna get thrown away. I can't even remember the last time a guy looked me in the eyes. I mean, Jesus, like I don't even have a head or something. As somebody who wasn't actually auditioning, I could look around and I was just like, you, you got it. It's hard for me to say this, but... Welcome to my nightmare! <sighs> April's a lot of fun to be around. She has a lot of good energy, and she's the one who will egg you on to do something that you don't entirely think is morally acceptable, and then she'll push you over the edge, and you'll end up doing it, and there will probably be pictures and a YouTube video involved. Rest in peace! Yeah, I'm extremely excited to be in top three, especially because I got to dress up like Elvira. That was so cool. I'm just going to do the best that I can do. For the family, I'm probably going to watch uh, the Elvira movies over and over again until I eat, sleep, and bleed Elvira. <laughs> Let's walk over to the stage. Give it up for April. You're welcome. Can you believe April's room? My room didn't, hasn't looked like that since I was in high school. You're, it's a mess. So you are one of the three remaining cadavers still hanging in the competition. What has been the best part of this adventure, of this journey for you? Of this whole journey? Yep. Oh, I'd have to say my date. My date was absolutely fabulous. Richard Rubin, he's, uh, he's charming. Absolutely. Um, I, don't think I've I don't think I've ever met somebody that's just like so articulate and like just, just great guy. She has the sarcasm down, if nothing else. Good luck to you. Let's give it up for her one more time. Good luck to you. Our second finalist is Kitty. She comes to us from the Lone Star State. Of course, I mean the Lone Star State. Let's check her out. Hi. Welcome to our crypt. Elvira. This is Goldie. I love playing music. Uh, I love performing. I'm in two bands. Um, I play bass for Black Molly and Midwest Monster. I'm gonna go to Emo's Lounge for Midwest Monster band rehearsal. Hey, we're Midwest Monster. If you don't vote for Kitty Corbett, we're gonna eat your children. She's
going to go over to my salon. Actually, it's my friend's salon, but I work there uh, as a custom perfumer. Welcome to my lab. This is where I make all my special blends and I become the mixtress of the dark. I'm going to be blending an oil, uh, one of my favorite recipes called Killer Wolf. my brother's band a couple times and moved to Austin almost three years ago and started playing for my boyfriend's band, Black Molly. Get out, we've got important things to do. Y'all come back now, you hear? Please welcome Kitty. Wow, Kitty. Two bands plus a deep felt love for horror and death. That's I had right. no idea Texas was that cool. Well, Austin is. It's it is. To be. <laughs> what was your favorite moment of the competition so far? I would have to say going to Universal, and I met a couple of hot, spicy Latin lovers. Ah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Let's come on. Let's hear it for Kitty one more time. And now for a look at our final final list. Jenny was just dying to show off her trick. Hello, darlings. Welcome to my place. Come on in. And I'll give you the grand tour. <laughs> This is where I prepare for my Elvira-ness. Pretty normal kitchen. I moved in the studio in July, and this is my first uh, grown-up apartment on my own. Go for Jenny! Woo! Hi, welcome to my work. Come on into Rev HQ. So we're at Revelation headquarters, and this is where I work. We have three parts. There's um, the distribution part, where we have a bunch of exclusive labels. Um, we also have the record label, which actually turned 20 this year. And then we have the mail order part, which is RevHQ.com. We're an independent music retailer, no majors, and we really like to keep that. The reason I tried out for Elvira is the webmaster, Igby. He told me that I should go try out for it at the Queen Mary. He said, you should go down there. You know, you're funny like her. I co-promote a club at a nightclub, and I run a night there, and it's a dance night. I do pretty much anything that needs to be done, so I make sure that everybody can get in, and everybody can set up, and everything is okay. I've done my best job, I mean my best job. Well, I have a very small place, but I do need to get ready. So you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here, so get out! Out, out, I gotta get ready for the big show. Let's give it up, welcome Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Hi. Welcome, hi. Hello. Hi. Huge reaction for that. Wow. I have to say, it looked like your place was furnished by Blood Bath and Beyond. Yeah, you know, I shop there on occasion. On occasion, just yeah, on, on occasion. On the 13th, they have good, good sales there. That's I have really to remember good. that. We'll have yeah. to go to a sale there. What was your favorite moment of the competition? Well, I have to say that would be uh, handling chocolate snake. I mean, chocolate the snake. <laughs> yes, ah. that was. I love to handle it. The snake. The snake. That, yeah, that I'm is. just trying to wrap my. <laughs> the snake. Right. right. Well, thank you very much. Thank Let's you. hear it once more. Thank you. We've gone home with them, but which of our contestants has taken her last bow? The selection of the next Elvira is just minutes away. Find out when we come back right after this. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Hello, Helga! Can't do anything around here. All I have to do is walk, 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 walk. Hi, my, my, we have a short temper, don't we? Discover what has happened to Elvira's maid, Helga. Why don't you just kiss my ass? Plus, the first of the final two eliminations, Elvira style. Oh, wow. When the search for the next Elvira continues.
big season finale of Fox Reality Channel's The Search for the next Elvira. Now, when Elvira dismisses contestants, they are off for good, but they do leave a bit of a mess behind, so we always need somebody capable of cleaning up after them. Elvira, I'm sorry. I know you're not going to be happy with this, but this is the only person we could get on such short notice. Oh, no, Helga. Oh, you dirty little... <laughs> You are like an itsy bitsy teeny weeny queen of gothic Halloweeny. Oh, my very own mini E. If you can't beat him, I guess you gotta join him. Join him? You look great. <laughs> All right, America, one more time. This is your top three. Have a look. America, you, you have, have voted. voted. Uh, Elvira, that's my line. Oh, well, I was just dying to electrocute somebody. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. No problem. I won't hold it against you. Let's do this oh, again. Oh, you won't? Oh, bummer, dude. <laughs> oh, you can hold it against me anytime. <laughs> okay, America, you have voted. April, Kitty, and Jenny, it is time for the first elimination of the night. Over 125,000 votes were cast. Woo! One of you got the fewest votes. We're going to reveal the lowest vote getter, and that person will rest in peace. Aww. Elvira, when you're ready. Jenny, America voted, and your nightmare continues. <laughs> April and Kitty, would you come over here and stand by me, please? For one of you, the nightmare continues. And for one of you, the trip is over. And you will rest in peace. Aww. America voted. Remember, I had nothing to do with it. And Kitty. You have the lowest votes. Rest in peace. Kitty. Oh, Kitty. I knew her well. <laughs> well, I guess Kitty used up uh, her eight other lives on some other reality show. Well, it was a hell of a ride from audition to pile of dust on the floor. Let's take a look back at Kitty's terrifying trip. Uh, I think I did well. They seemed to like me a lot. They all said that, they, that I had a good attitude, and I think they liked my scream. I had a scream twice, but liked me. Kitty. Welcome to my nightmare. Being a part of your nightmare is my dream come true. Last night as I was rehearsing, I was, none of the girls in my group that had the same script were staying in the hotel with me, so I had to practice by myself. And I was looking in the mirror the whole time and just kind of, oh my god, oh my god. You know, acting out every little bit of Elvira that I could think. BJ? Nice to meet you. Kitty? What does BJ stand for? Big joystick or something? Um, no? I do have a big joystick. Well, I went on the date with BJ uh, from The Amazing Race, and I, I didn't know anything about him going into it. He's a sweetheart. <laughs> he looks kind of like a wolf man. Are you ready to order? Oh, um... Uh, I would suggest uh, the crickets or the scorpions. I would say the, uh, the scorpions. I guess I'll try the crickets then. Sure. Yes, sir, he is little old me, that devil-may-care quipstress of the air, Elvira, mistress of the dark. Okay, so that was Sandra Bernhardt hosting Movie Macabre. Oh, oh. Sandra. You don't, you didn't see that at all? <laughs> well, she does have a little, just her lip shape. Kitty, you know, out there in the hot desert sun at Universal, the people really loved you. They trade you a picture for your phone numbers? 
And then you give me your number, right? Oh, I'll give you, you better give me your number. Girls. The nightmare continues for you both. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm so shocked. This is what I really wanted. I was so hoping to be here today. Yes, it's always sad when we have to turn a hot chick into a smoking corpse, but hey, it's Halloween. Don't go anywhere, because when we come back, Elvira and the judges put the screws to the remaining ghoulish glam girls, and we announce the winner when the search for the next Elvira continues. Stay tuned. Helga. Coming up on the search for the next Elvira. I have the wit and the one-liners that uh, you need, and now that I have this wig, there's no stopping me. <laughs> it's the final bloodletting interview. And later, we reveal the winner. Sassy little attitude there, you know, I kind of got it down, and uh, uh, that's a very, very uh, big part of the character. When the search for the next Elvira returns. <laughs> Welcome back to the search for the next Elvira. We're here in haunted Hollywood, California for the one Halloween party big enough to raise the dead. <laughs> it is our season finale. We've whittled down the competition from the unholy 13 all the way down to the terrible two. No, Elvira, not yours. Our terrible two competitors. And now it's time for the gals to face the music and answer a few questions from our panel of experts. Please welcome back our two twins of terror. April and Jenny. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies. Now, our judges, including the girl with enough vavoom to fill the room, Elvira herself, are going to ask you some questions. And, of course, you will be judged harshly. Take it away. Okay, ready? April. If you win, what would you do to promote bad movies showing on late night TV? I would probably try to do some more of the Rocky Horror Picture Show style live, like you know, horror hosting in front of the um, in front of the movie screen, because that really awesome audience participation, good stuff. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. Um, Jenny. Recent polls have shown that one-fifth of U.S. Americans can't locate places such as the Transylvania on a map. Why do you think that is? Well, like the, as such as the, I just think that there's a lot of boobs out there. Good answer. Good point. All right, fantastic. Very, very articulate. <laughs> April, as the next Elvira, what would you do to help the children? I think I would open up an after school program where we teach the girls how to do horror hosting. We can get them in the little outfits and like that'll keep them out of trouble, right? <laughs> uh, no, no, that, no, it won't, definitely will not keep them out of trouble. Okay, never mind that one, April, okay. All right, Jenny, what one item would you never want to see Elvira promote? Well, that would be a hair flattening iron, of course, <laughs> and a chest flattening iron, for that matter. Oh, 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 yeah, <laughs> oh my girl. <laughs> Elvira, penetrating questions. Thank you very much. Girls, great answers. All right, who will become the next Elvira, and who will meet her fate right here on the stage? Find out when we come back as our crazy <laughs> Halloween party continues. Don't go away. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. I will do what it takes to uphold the name Elvira. We touch all the hot buttons and soft buttons as we look back at the best of the final two. Voila, here I am, Jenny. Plus, we'll announce the next mistress of the dark. And the winner of the search for the next Elvira is... 
next on the search for the next Elvira. Welcome back to the search for the next Elvira. It is the big finale. We are down to the final two beauties from beyond, each of them hoping to be crowned the queen of Halloween. Let's bring Jenny back out here right now. Jenny. <laughs> Looking beautiful. We can see why you're here. Let's take a look back, Jenny, at how you got to the final two. Jenny, you were really vivacious. You were fun. You had a good attitude. Um, you're tall. That's always helpful. So, welcome to my nightmare. Ooh, I could just die. So let me get this straight. You are straight, aren't you? Well, Sorry, can I start over? I'm really sorry. Can I, start I sold my soul a little bit too too far because I let some lady touch my boob. I was, oh, yes. And and I think uh, Patterson kind of got mad at me, but he was just like, listen, Elvira is not going to let anybody touch her boob. It's hard to swallow them. You just keep, keep chewing. I've had a hard time out. swallowing myself sometimes, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? <laughs> It's a, a ghoulish goulash, spiced to perfection by yours cruelly. It's time to open up the vault and reel out another clunker for your viewing displeasure. This one is called In of the Damned. I can't believe it. I told her I was going to be dying, and I am. Here I am. Congratulations and good luck to you now, folks. Let's bring April back out. April. There they are, Channing April. Let's take a look, April, at your journey to the final two. Darling, you don't want my life. Believe me, I can't even remember the last time a guy looked me in the eyes. I mean, Jesus, like I don't even have a head or something. April's very cute. Look, at yeah. April's a doll. I April's can kind of see that. Uh... I actually could kind of see it. I could. It's hard for me to say this, but... Welcome to my nightmare! Oh, yes, <laughs> We went out west. The little ghoul wanted to see Holly weird. <laughs> Before he knew it, she was busting out all over the place. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> ah. Well, this date's going well. He uh, he looked down, got surprised, and like flew the table up at me. My goodness, man! I'm calm sorry. down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just fine. No, no, no! Don't help. Sit. Please, it'll Sit. be my honor. Down. <laughs> Very nice. And now over to our judges and to Elvira. You spent a lot of time with these two ladies. Any thoughts, Christian, on seeing them as the final two? I'm very impressed with how they look. I mean, how many people did we see? You guys are really, really, really impressive in Something terms of... Something nice came out of Christian's mouth! <laughs> Patterson, what about you? What are your thoughts on these two? Y'all suck! No, sorry, I was channeling Christian. No, I love you guys. I love you guys. It's, it's so cool to see women in the outfits, with the hair, because usually we're used to seeing only men that can put the outfits and the hair and do the character. Yeah, me too. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Now, Byron, what about you? There's got to be a little bit of, like, looking into a mirror with these two. How it, do you feel? It is. You know, I'm looking at him, I'm going, damn, I am hot. <laughs> All right, looking back at the competition, let's look back at a few of the things that the judges said about you. Jenny. Oh, Lord. Christian said, during your wardrobe challenge, you needed a lot of help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he said you, me. Did he help he you? He helped me a lot. He's, he's happy to take credit. I can see nodding, yeah. yeah. I he's, don't want anything. It's too boring. <laughs> it's too boring. It's too, yeah. He said that you really let him down on the date challenge. Oh. But he said that your monologue scene was great. Patterson thought you were great at the coffee challenge despite letting people grab your goodies. <laughs> Less, yeah. Lesson learned there? Lesson yeah. learned. I was we, scolded we thoroughly. And Elvira said that you really surprised her during your monologue, but that on your date, you let the date take control. Yeah, you can't let guys take over, no, honey. No, take no crap from guys. Right, girls? <laughs> you'll learn, you'll learn. 
April, Christian said that even though you were good at the acting challenge, he still hadn't felt Elvira from you. Did that change? I never said that. He yes. still hasn't yeah. felt Elvira. Oh. 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 Patterson thought that you really brought the date challenge home and you kept the guy in line, which we know is very important to Elvira. Elvira thought that you really brought the attitude to the monologue challenge. Like your acting. A, a sassy little attitude there, you know, kind of got it down, and uh, um, I, I, that's a very, very uh, big part of the character. Girls, do you have any last words, any last thoughts? It was great being a part of this whole competition. Just, I've had so much fun, and I'm so glad that I got to participate. Yeah. My chest has never looked better. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you ready? to pass on the legendary baton of Elvira. Are you ready to find out? Yeah. Elvira, take it away. I am so excited, I could just bust. Okay, girls? Okay. Now, the winner of the search for the next Elvira is... going to be revealed after this break! <laughs> Welcome back to the finale of the search for the next Elvira. We know the suspense is killing you. I know it's killing both of you. Elvira? And the winner of the search for the next Elvira is... with some business girl come on over here you can make it Woo. Woo. okay okay just stand real close to me here okay uh, not too close we're just look like not Siamese twins <laughs> all right this is a dastardly duty but um, I'm afraid you're going to have to vanquish your opponent as the next Elvira you must Pull the switch and get rid of the really nice girl. <laughs> okay, then for the big kiss off, you say, rest in peace. Okay, okay. April, hit Jenny. it. Jenny, rest in peace. <laughs> Is next. 
Kennedy has got never before seen footage that you have got to see to believe, and it's just seconds away. And with that, we want to thank you for helping us choose the next Elvira April.